Hi everyone, this is me, Summer Kelly. We're back with another video. I want to thank you all for taking time out to watch this video. As you can see, I am not singing nor am I playing guitar because this is a non-musical video, my first one in a couple weeks. For those of you that tried my previous music views, I would encourage you to go back and watch them and stay tuned because hopefully, Lord willing, later this week and early next week, I plan to be back with more music videos to be giving God all the glory, honor, and praises to His name in song. So I was thinking, planning, praying, and making this video today in light of what's going on this week of Teachers Appreciation Week and in light of Mother's Day coming up this upcoming Sunday, the title that I have for this non-musical video is simply titled this, My Mother's Day Tr Tribute slash Teachers Appreciation Week. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, ways that we can honor our mothers and honor our teachers, especially for the impact that they have made on our lives. So the first point I want to make, first of all, the first few points is ways to honor moms for Mother's Day upcoming. It's first of all, the power of a woman's influence. Now we know when Eve was created, she was created to be a help me to Adam, right? Like it says in the book of Genesis. But the name Eve means mother of all living, which means she was the first lady, first wife, and the first mother because she would be the mother of Cain and Abel and Seth, and she would have other sons and daughters too. And so the other thing is that God has given women the ability to nurture and to birth life, whether natural or spiritual life. And that is very, very significant. And so um, even if a woman like me and other women, even if they don't bear natural children of their own, it's not uncommon for women to love and nurture unconditionally and even to go into job professions um, like child care that care for children. So I believe that's something that God put on a woman's heart to love and to nurture. And so that's the first point I want to make. The second point I want to make is that there are different ways that you can become a mother. Um, you can become a mother by, you know, naturally giving birth. You can become a mom by using IVF in vitro through medical means to get pregnant. You can become a mom by adoption, whether domestically or overseas. You can become a mother by being a stepmother. Maybe, you know, you're in love with a significant other who had children from a previous relationship. And perhaps when you marry him that you may become a stepmother and adopt his children that way. Or you may be a godmother or like be a spiritual mother. And what's a spiritual mother? A spiritual mother is a lady who mentors people younger than her, the things of God. And so those are the different ways you can become a mother in either way. Um, those ways are very impactful. The last point of what I make about motherhood is different ways to pray for mom for Mother's Day. Maybe you were a mother that lost a child um, through miscarriage or the child brutally died, or maybe you're a daughter who lost your mother, or Maybe you are a mother or grandmother that raised your kids or grandkids in the ways of the Lord, but maybe when they got older, they drifted away from God and that's broken your heart. Or maybe you might be a lady who struggles with infertility. If any of those things apply to you in any way, just know that you're in my thoughts and my prayers. And I think it's very important for us in the body of Christ to be very sensitive to women going through challenges like that with Mother's Day upcoming. So those are the few points I want to make about uh, motherhood. Now I'm going to transition to now talking about the impact of teachers. And first and foremost, I'm going to share with you guys um, the power of being a teacher. Um, what is a teaching office? A teaching office is to be an instructor and the power that they have to shape young lives. And I'm sure many of you can think about teachers throughout your lifetime who have impacted you. And I can think of many teachers that have impacted me both in the classroom and in the things of God. And it's just amazing how um, a teacher's influence can impact their students in so many ways. The second point I want to make is just as there's different ways to be a mother, there's different ways you can become a teacher. You can become a teacher by being a preschool teacher, elementary, middle, and high school teacher, or a college professor. Um, you can become a teacher by being a homeschool parent. I know my mom for many years was a homeschool mom. She homeschooled me and my sister from preschool through high school, and she homeschooled my brother 
from preschool through middle school. My brother would later attend a public high school and college, and my sister and I would later attend regular colleges. So some of you are homeschool parents. You may be a teacher that way. You may be a teacher by being a teacherpreneur, um, a hat teacher, hat business owner. Um, I myself am a teacherpreneur, and there are other teacherpreneurs out there. Um, that office doesn't get recognized or honored like it should. Um, my Young Lives Arts Center is uh, a program that I started, and the children I teach are a part of that. And so that's not part of the traditional district, so that's what a teacherpreneur is. Or you may be a teacher of the Word of God. Now, you can be a teacher of the Word of God in a variety of ways as well. You may be a pastor watching that God's giving you the gift to preach, but also the gift to teach. Um, or maybe you are a Sunday school teacher. I was a former Sunday school teacher. Or maybe you like to lead Bible studies. And I've been leading Bible studies for the past couple of years. And I was sharing with some people from my church a couple of days ago that in light of Teachers Appreciation Week, I think it's safe and appropriate to also honor teachers of the Word of God too, just as we honor teachers in the classroom. The third point I want to make, and the last thing I want to make concerning teachers is different ways to pray for teachers, you guys. Teachers go through a lot, whether they're teachers in the classroom or teachers of the Word of God. First, I think it's important to pray that those teachers will be refreshed and rejuvenated because a lot of times teachers get burned out a lot. Yes, even teachers of the Word of God, they do, you know, to pray that God will refresh them, to pray that God will give them patience with their students, and to pray that um, and to pray that they will realize the power that they are making a difference in the lives of our young people and stuff. So teachers so desperately need our love and our prayers and support. And the last part I want to make um, is with mothers and teachers, let us rise and call them blessed. The Bible says in Proverbs 31, that the children shall rise and call her blessed. And especially teachers and mothers who love the Lord, as it says in Proverbs 31, shepherds to set their beauty leading, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And so especially teachers and mothers who love the Lord deserve all the love and honor they can get. And so those are the points I want to share this video. I didn't want to be long, but to recap the points I made in this video, uh, the few points I made about motherhood is, number one, the power of being a woman. Secondly, different ways to be a mother. And thirdly, um, different ways to pray for mothers on Mother's Day. For teachers, um, the first point, the power of being a teacher. Secondly, the different ways that you can be a teacher. And lastly, different ways we can pray for teachers. And the last point of all is may we rise to call our mothers and teachers blessed. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. I didn't want to be long. And so if this video bless you, may you like, subscribe, and share with those you know and love. A couple things I want to share before I go is that um, for those of you that are into makeup or you know someone that's, that's into makeup, um, I have a Mary Kay business. I'm a Mary Kay consultant. And if that's any interest to you, feel free to come in the comment section below. And I'd be happy to give you more information about that. In light of what I said earlier about me being the founder of Young Lives Arts Center, if you have kids or grandkids, nieces and nephews that are preschool age and older that are looking for a Christ Center art-based program, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to give you more information about that um, as I get ready for the summer session, which yes, summer will be upon us. And that's my name too. <laughs> so you want more information, feel free to reach out to me with that. And so I want to thank you guys for taking time out to watch this video that means the world to me. Thank you. God bless you. Happy Teachers Appreciation Week and happy early Mother's Day. Thank you.